Hey everybody, welcome to the um, World AIDS Day collaboration. I hope you've been enjoying the videos so far. Please stay tuned after me to watch Sarah Mack do her magic next. Uh, I kind of got carried away with the colors. As most of you know, I'm not a red girl. So I kind of did this. I was giggling to myself like, this is like a wine pairing except colors. <laughs> <laughs> so I started off with this first color here. This is Amsterdam's um, Permanent Red Violet. So this shade right here. I'm like, ooh, that's pretty. So let me pair that up with a um, pigment. So this is this little piggy in Athena. And I'm like, those two look great together. So that's Athena. And then I had to have a true red. And my favorite true red is definitely Amsterdam's Carmine. And I like it because it doesn't really have the blue undertones or the orange undertones. It is a true red. I guess it leans a little more toward the, the blue side of red than rather than the orange. But it's my favorite shade of red for when I do use red. And then, of course, I had to pair that up with another pigment. This is Maraschino, this little piggy. So those look great together. And then my two outliers. This is... Pepio Studio Acrylics. This is iridescent copper because red and copper just look amazing together. And then I'm kind of taken with this new piggy color. This is Bellini. Just because I didn't want orange and I didn't want to do gold because that's expected and, you know, have to be different. And so there's Bellini and then Lamp Black as a cell activator. Let me get my house paint down on my little 10 by 20. And let's make something right. pretty. I got my PPG Multi Pro down. And don't want to do a line or maybe a deconstructed bloom. I haven't done a deconstructed bloom proper in a while. So let's do that. And then I'll decide whether to tilt or spin. So I'm going to start with this Amsterdam Red Violet. And I'll just put a little bit right there since I have a lot of colors. And then put the Athena on top of that. Oh, those two are pretty together. And then let's go with some Carmine Red. So that's the uh, color of the day. Represents AIDS. If um, you're interested, anyone that gives me a chat or super chat donation, or if anyone buys this painting, um, just know that all proceeds will go to the AIDS Foundation. The link is in my description section. Less shipping costs. Otherwise, all the money will be donated. Um, so thanks for helping out. So that was the gold. Here comes Bellini. This is a lot of color. And I think I'm going to put... A little more of the red violet and let's go with a little more of the copper on the red violet. Some cell activator, that's my dog drinking water, sorry for the noise, and just a little bit. Let's give this a blowout. All right, I gave a kind of a hard puff in the middle there just to get some um, lighter cells to come up. And I did this part deliberately so I can do my next little part on top of a petal. Um, that way you don't have a solid white line running across. And I kind of like that order. I think I need a little more copper though. So let's do the red violet. The Athena is super pretty in this. I should do a painting with just these two colors and some gold or Bellini. And then, oops. Some Carmine, a little wiggle of that. Some Maraschino. Copper. Let's 
Bellini. I'm going to touch more of the red violet. Mm, touch more. Oh, let's throw in a little bit more Athena. Oh, because I like those two together. Yep. And then some copper. And then my CA. Blowout number two. This is looking super pretty though. Here it goes. Cool wear high fan. All right. I gave a really strong puff in here again and got some white and then dragged it out like I just did right there with my finger um, just to break up that dark spot. This is my favorite though. This is gorgeous. It's this and this right here. So I don't really care as usual about the center of the bloom. Um, not a fan of all of this here. I think I need to tilt some of that off. So let's do that first. I was kind of chintzy with the house paint too. I didn't put a whole lot on here, but Let's deconstruct it. Let's take some of that off that way. And then come back. You see how much things move in unison because that always makes a difference or helps. And just tilt some of that off there a little bit. Go ahead off. And then I'm going to come up. I want to make that right there where my thumb is, like kind of like the feature. I'm going to let the paint roll under itself in this one corner. Normally I would put some color, but I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of some of that and then bring the weight of the paint back to the center. And slowly slide up, like down sidewards downwards sidewards till we get some house paint to go off the edge and have this stretch out and just roll off a little we can have some negative space that's great that part's stretching out that's my favorite bit so that's great and because i'm a lefty i'm going to turn this around the other way because I, I just naturally like to look in that direction so let me flip it around without dropping it or ruining anything. Yeah, I like these areas of negative space. I'm hoping to do the same thing at this other end. At least that's how I kind of see the composition right now since I had these two like cut ins. So let's see if I can do the same thing now. We're just gonna go straight down the middle with the weight of the paint and wiggle our way down. I'm gonna get like wonky lines on my edges. That's okay. I got a ways to travel. It's a road trip. Everybody in the back of the car. And now we can head toward, let's head toward this one corner and I'm just gonna go for it. Bring it back up, keep the weight of the paint where it was, back in the middle. And I think I'm gonna leave this corner as negative space. I might need a little bit of paint, we'll see. We'll see, let's wiggle one over and down. Keep a lot of the lacing on there, put the lacing in the corner. Oh gosh, can you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I remember you, you know, <laughs> 10 minutes into the video. And then come back up and around. And let me just stop and stare at this for a second. Yeah, I wanted a little more negative space and I don't like this wiggle line here for sure. I still love all of this. But this part here and this part here I'm not a fan. I didn't want to lose this 
but I might have to sacrifice it as long as I keep this bit here. But I want the wiggle thing to go off. So let me, let me carry on this way for a second. And you know how I don't mind losing the edges or the centers of my blooms. So you can just kind of touch, get off the wiggle there, and then stretch it back the other way. And we'll stop and take a look. And if it looks like it's too dark on those two edges, I might add some white. Let me stare at this. Yeah, like, I'm not a fan of this. Grabbing some white off my tarp since it's fairly clean, maybe a little bit of red. I'm not a fan of this. So just do some finger painting, add some color to it. Maybe to this part too. Oh, I've got like some Athena on my finger. That looks so obvious, but that's okay. We're not done. I'm gonna push some of that off. Maybe all of it. I'll take off that black. Now let's go. And oh, I got one little area. I'm still loving this. I see this as the top. I need to flip my canvas around again. Let me let me stare at this a second. It's getting there. This is yeah. This is beautiful. I'm almost there. I want to get rid of. This dark spot again here, maybe just a little line of white there that helps. And I want to flip it around. And oh my God, I'm worried about time. Flip it around. Oh gosh, that's pretty. I think it just needs straightened out a little bit right here. And I'm done, yeah. It's all about being able to see the composition. That's how my brain works anyway. If you're ever wondering, like, how do you know? I'm like, I just kind of see it. I see like an area and I decide that that's it. That's the focal point. Take some of this stuff off, come across and take it back. And I think, I think I'm happy. I've got a couple little darker areas now on the edge, but they weren't like, they're more balanced now. I like how this travels up. This is my focal point that I was in love with from the beginning. Um, I love the middle. This might be a little dark for me right here. I'm going to put some like pinky stuff, like run some, oh, that's nice. Like that little line and just kind of let it drip a little bit off my finger so it looks kind of natural rather than trying to paint it on like these little lines right here. So it looks like it's going all the way across. Oops, ran out of paint. And that's not enough to like crack or anything either, so. Perfect, shoulda. Let me get you guys down for a close up. Okay guys, gotta go quick. Running out of time, my 15 minute time limit. Here's the bottom of this one. Super pretty, love my little river. Running through the bottom. Then it comes up to the center here. Really, really pretty color blending. And then the feature here um, that I knew right away I wanted to be the focal point is this whole area at the top. Love those little cells there. And the top there is just magnificent to me. It's a little, I know it looks pink, but I think a lot, a lot of it is red, but it does have the copper glaze on top of everything. And I think it's making it look more pink than red, but the red's there, I promise. And that's what it looks like up high. I hope you enjoy, let me flip. Oh my gosh, I look like hell. 
Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I just said that, didn't I? I'm frazzled. Uh, anyway, I plan to do another one, maybe take my time, go a little slower because I have all these paints and I'm really happy with that color palette. So that worked out. As I said at the beginning, stay tuned for Sarah Mac up next. Um, click on the little link in the little live chat feature there. Or if you're watching this after the fact, just go to Sarah Mac art channel and you can watch her video. That's my girl. And uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Peace out.